Hello everybody, welcome to another video from English House. This is Sabik with you. Well, in today's video, we're going to be looking at three commonly used idioms that I often use in between my conversation. So let's have a check. The first one I got for you on the list is, it's a piece of cake. It's a piece of cake simply means that something is very easy to do. And it's probably my favorite that I use most of the times in between my conversation. To give you an example on this, let's say, cooking noodles is a piece of cake. And to use it in a negative statement, you can say uh, learning a language is not a piece of cake. Now let's have a check over the second one. So the second idiom I got for you on the list is to bite off more than you can chew. Now this simply means when you try to do something that you're more than able to. To give you an example on this, let's say your boss walks up to you in the office and asks you, can you just send these emails, research on this topic, work on these documents, file these as well, and also cross-check the accounts and you say yes yes no problem and finally at midnight when you're still working in the office you can say to yourself i think i've bitten off more than i can chew idumayittu resonate cheyunna oru malayalam chollu aayirikkum kokkil odungunnade kottavu ennalladu however adu indinte oru literal translation allengil kude similar context ilana nammal rendu chollugalu upayogikkunnathu now let's have a check of the third one so the third phrase that i got for you on the list is is to add insult to injury to add insult to injury simply means to make a bad situation worse to give you an example on this let's say i was already running late to the office and to add insult to injury it was raining as well idumayittu chernu nikkunna mattu oru malayalam chollu nammal nokkaanennengi idi vettiyane paambu adikka nokka parayarle so something similar to that so idallade idumayittu chernu nikkunna mattu vella chollugalu nammal manasil varunnengi please let us know by dropping in a comment below it can be a reference for ourselves and for a lot more curious learners out there and if you're not using any of these idioms start using them to spice up your conversation and if you found this video informative show us your support by leaving a thumbs up and if at all you would like to know more about our course feel free to reach out to us you can click on the link below so thank you for watching the video guys have a great time ahead english house english at your fingertips